Hey y'all, what is up? I know it's been so, so very long. <laughs> Taking the longest break ever from this channel. Uh, I have been so crazy busy and just kind of in a new season of my life. The past couple of months, um, this whole year has been massively insane. I don't know why, but you know, that's my chaotic energy, I think. <laughs> bringing it down on me uh i have been working on so many new projects so many different things trying out different things with the shorts um if you follow my channel at all you for a while you know that i have been doing nothing but shorts for a while tiktok style kind of cross posting between tiktok instagram reels and youtube kind of seeing you know what's going on with the youtube shorts and so I have not been making any vlog style videos. I have not been um, doing any unboxings, reviews, nothing like that. I have just been focusing on the shorts, um, basically because they're quick, they're easy. Um, the inspiration for them has been other TikTok videos and it's just been kind of a quick, easy thing I can do when I have a minute. And I have not had really had the time to sit down and commit to making a whole video and for that i am i am sorry to y'all you know if you are fans of my vlog work i'm sorry about that if you're not you know then maybe a lot of it seems that people are enjoying the shorts a lot so that's great anyway i am happy to be back and taking a little bit of time today to make a vlog style video with you all um as you can see i <laughs> I have full hair and makeup done today, oh my gosh. I haven't been doing this except for, I haven't even been modeling the past couple of months. I have only done full hair and makeup for Bachata Team performances because we have finally reached the end of the season with that and we have been doing performances at different events and locations. And that really that's the only time I've had full hair and makeup the past couple months, not for YouTube, not for modeling, not for anything. It's just been for that. So this is exciting. I've spent a couple hours today putting this together. I hope you all enjoy it as much as I am. I'm feeling myself a little bit kind of in that Celine moon goddess energy. I'm, I'm big into spiritual things and kind of like to be in tune with my spirit and uh, different spiritual ideas and concepts. Recently I was really into and doing a lot of research on Twin Flame because I, you know, just really wanted to learn more about it and felt that it was something that was kind of prevalent in my life and uh, applied to my life. So I was really big into researching that. Now I'm kind of on Celine, the moon goddess, doing research on her and the idea behind her that she is the personification of the many changes in humanity and the constant changing in humanity. Um, I've kind of been on that. Also, just because I'm a night person and a night girl, <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I identify the most with her as a god. I'm not saying I'm a goddess, okay, for those of y'all that don't want to be salty. I am not saying I'm a goddess in real life. I realize I'm just... I'm just a human, <laughs> okay? But just trying to channel that energy, channel that idea of a moon goddess that um, shines the brightest at night, it's kind of me, and is in the most of my power at night, um, most of my inspiration is at night, or later in the day, I'm just trying to channel the idea of being personification of change, because um, really in the past, change has been something I've been afraid of, okay? I have lived in a state of fear for too long and so I'm trying to embrace, embrace the things that I am afraid of, the things that I have run from. I'm gonna do a little bit of the vlog style, a little bit of catching up on me and my life and my little, you know, inside of the day uh, that I'm gonna share with you guys. So I, I really feel that I have my biggest my biggest enemy and I, I made a big post about this on facebook and kind of a blog style post about this my biggest enemy in life the biggest thing holding me back has not been other people has not been hatred from haters whatever you know you want to call it, it has not been that negative energy it, it's literally coming from me it's literally the things i'm afraid of my own fear <laughs> has been the biggest thing holding me back this is something i've really come to recognize in myself the past few months 
that a lot of times I move from a place of fear, um, fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of abandonment, just, just fear, you know, fear of failure is probably my biggest fear because I'm afraid, I'm afraid to lose it all. I built empires on my own and with other people and I have failed in the past. Um, other people have failed me and I think that kind of fear lives inside of me that um, I fear it so much that it's going to happen again or it's going to be worse or I'm going to lose everything that it just kind of taints everything I do that it kind of holds me back from true success from true power because I am afraid I am afraid to lose it all you know so that's been a kind of a big thing I've been focusing on the past couple of months is in meditation and um, just really trying to pinpoint my issues <laughs> is fear. Fear is my issue. Um, and a little bit of a story time, okay, so to kind of tie into this concept, let's talk about <laughs> for a moment my take on the whole um, Adam Levine and his wife, uh, children's mother situation, what's going on with that. It's a big hot topic right now and uh, usually I don't like to weigh in too heavily on um, stars or you know famous people or you know anything really heavy you know that involves with social things outside of myself uh, social dialogue and things um, society politics religion I usually don't like to touch too much on that okay just because me being me I I you know I try to stay away from that <laughs> But I will, I will weigh in on this one, okay? Because it ties in with what I'm talking about, about fear. For someone like me, and for someone like her, like anyone, okay? So, here's the thing, okay? It is, it is tragic to me. It's a personal tragedy, it's, it's heartbreaking to see people hurt each other like this, okay? because I've lived that. I personally have lived that. I know many women who have also lived that. Um, my own personal background, I don't like to get too deep into this because, well, for one thing, the person I'm talking about is subscribed to me, so they're gonna, they're gonna know I'm talking about them, but um, I think, in all fairness, you know, it's fair for me having to have lived through it to be able to talk about it. Uh, I was married, I had a child with someone, um, he was handsome, he was dynamic, he was young, he was um, charismatic, people loved him. He was a professional dancer, okay, and he, he, again, he does watch this channel so he knows I'm talking about him, but, you know, that's, that's, I'm not naming any names, I'm not being specific, specific, so, you know, sorry, you're gonna have to deal with it. If you want to be on my channel, <laughs> he's gonna have to deal with it. Um, and I fell in love with him at a very young age. He was probably uh, one of my first real big loves, um, the kind that make you lose your mind, go insane, okay. And looking back, I, he made me very insecure. He had a way of making me very insecure, whether he meant to or not, it was just who he was. He was, again, charismatic, dynamic, and so he got a lot of attention. He was a professional dancer, and it, it went to a very, ugly dark place. Um, it got to the point where I was questioning myself, my worth, um, everything about me. I was like, am I not beautiful enough? Am I not smart enough? Am I not talented enough? You know, to uh, deserve love from this person, deserve respect and loyalty from this person. I, I started to question it all because I wasn't getting what I needed. My needs were not being met. And it created fear. Fear took over, fear took over, and I lived in a constant state of fear, just this horrible feeling inside of just fear, you know? And, okay, the whole point of that and how that ties into, it's, it's all ties in together, okay? So, Adam Levine and his super mom, we need, they don't meet our needs, or they fail us, or they hurt us, that is not a reflection of who we are, right? Okay, that's, that's the takeaway I want everyone to have from this. That is not what other people do to us or whatever other people choose, how other people choose to relate to us is not a reflection of ourselves unless we choose to live in fear, okay? And then they're, they're gonna feed off of that fear. You cannot live from a place of fear. 
anyway that's what i have for y'all tonight i hope you enjoyed it i personally am so happy to be back i <laughs> I am in a situation right now where the summer was just crazy and a bunch of different things happened and I'm probably about to have to go crazy and work three jobs or you know work doubles at the bar all the time so I'm kind of in a weird spot right now where I'm not sure how much time I'm gonna have to make videos but I wanted to get one out to y'all because I know it's been a while and I do enjoy it I do enjoy y'all I appreciate all the love and support. I hope to continue to grow this following and that y'all appreciate what I have to say as much as I appreciate sharing it with you. So again, I love you all. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'm always down for new followers, new fans, new friends. If you want to follow me on social media, you can find me at AmberBubble77. And as always, I will see you soon, hopefully, with a new video. Bye!